Uh, you gotta make you gotta let update what's about to happen today. So yesterday I took the call out Street TJ Fire out for beat up, you know, made some pool, it was running so good, quick, and uh, after I drove back and parked for a little while, and then I took the call back out, right? Took it back out, drove for like two minutes. The smell started coming out from the hood. And I had a feel, the smell was like the clutch smell, it's pretty much a bun smell. And I thought it was a clutch, all you know, the bowl was loosening out. The whole cluster light was, everything powers inside the car was shut off completely. And I was straight in the middle of the street, in the dark. And I popped the hood, I looking at the fuse bowling. And it burned out. So. The issue was something was uh, either short to ground or I suspect, well the problem is this, the car been had a uh, voltage issue, high voltage issue the whole time but I, you know, I did not want to try to figure out what was the problem because it was running strong solid the whole time and now that the major problem and the fuse bowling was burned out, right? So if I get this thing fixed, every one hour should watch, you know, the community watch the video and get an idea of what, you know, but yeah, I, I suspect the starters, the whole time I got a whole engine rebuild. I suspect, well, I thought was the high voltage was that uh, the alternator. Because I upgraded from the OEM one to the high voltage alternator. I have to see. The the high voltage issue on the Street G thirty five the whole time it was it wasn't too bad. I thought it wasn't too bad, but it's out of range, which I recommend get it fixed. You know, checked out what the problem was. It was fifteen point at idle fifteen point two fifteen yeah, fifteen point two, sometimes point three. And then when I drove for a little while, it went into 14.8, 14.9, which is still out of range. The good spec should be 14.6, you know, 14.5, those are, you know, what you're looking at for the proper spec. And yeah, how about to replace the starter, how we get it fixed. All right, you guys, it's 35 I'm about to show you guys how to uh, replace the starter on Infinity G35 and it should be uh, I'm not wrong it should be similar to other you know Nissan 350Z so but yeah I'm about to show you how to replace it so bear with me but first thing before you replace any starter generally not just for Infinity or Nissan Make sure you disconnect the negative battery. If you did not disconnect the battery, learn it from me. I made a mistake years ago, you know. It's a spark, cost a spark when you try to unbolt and you tighten a certain location on the starter. It's getting spark and it's bad for the vehicle. You could burn fuse, you could mysteriously, you know, short somewhere and cause a problem to radio and all kind of things you would not want to face so yeah make sure you disconnect your negative battery and I'm not about to do that right now and then go underneath the car and I'll show you guys where the starter at and it should be simple to do alright so first before you replace the starter first you gotta check up the car make sure it's safety is uh, is your first priority, you know, put on jack stand and everything. I put two jack stand and then I show you guys the starter underneath the car. It's a little tight spot, but so there's the starter. So you guys, I'm gonna tell you the procedure to do it before you could take it out that starter. That's 
basically two um, two plug on the starter. One is right there, which I took that out already. As you could see, I did unplug away one that's kind of behind the, you know, behind that starter. So you unplug that. That's one of it. And another one is it's coming from the alternator, which is kind of hard to see, but it should be a, you know, pretty thick gate wire. So here I'm gonna show you guys where's the underneath the car where the starter located. If you guys follow, this one is the wheel of the passenger side. If you guys follow this thing right here, I don't know if you guys can see it clear, but if you guys follow that, it's right there, follow it. And up there, right there, let's see, let me point it out. That's the starter right there. And there should be a plug behind it that you have to loosen up. There's basically two plug harness. One is from the alternator and one is plug, you know, back onto uh, onto your battery or your vehicle. So that's the whole big piece right there. So you have two harness you have to unplug, and you have two bolt, big bolt you have to loosen up before you could pull out a starter. I'm gonna show you guys. That's two bolt. Let's see, I can point it out. That's a big bolt right there. That's one of it. And that's one on top of that. Right there. So. The two bolts should be loosened up and you put a bolt to move the stuff, pull it out the starter. And you're gonna need um, to do this job, to complete it, you're gonna need a 12 millimeter socket and you're gonna need a 14 millimeter socket. 12 and 14. Cause you need a 12 to loosen up the, the harness that coming out from the alternator, connect to the solder. And 14, you're gonna need it for the bolt, two bolt. So. All right, you guys, let's continue with it. So here I came into the issue of um, you guys gonna deal with having a hard time trying to unbolt those two bolt, big bolt, to loosen up the starter, to be able to pull it out. So you won't able to, most likely you won't want to use the socket anyway. It's 14 millimeter, but you rather just use um, the ratchet, 14 millimeter ratchet, and see what I did? It's made it easier so you won't fuck up the bolt. If you use socket, it tend to be you know, fuck up the bolt, try loosen up. So the ratchet, 14, and you connect to it to, be, to get, you know, the leverage. You have another mil, uh, 17 millimeter ratchet, which I did here. You see how I, I pretty much like stack set up to be, uh, to be able to loosen up and it pretty much, it came off. It gave me a hard time, but luckily I have, you know, all this, all this tool ready. So, yeah, just that. Just a trick to it. All right, you guys. So here it is, the starter came out. This is exactly how it looked. Infinity G35 Coupe 05. So, yeah, as you can see, That's the fun part right there. That's the good way. Feel something wrong with this. Internally. That's what it's causing, you know, unregulated voltage and burn my fusible link to the battery. So, um, you know, you see, Bond right here inside. Bond dark black. So yeah, we're gonna take this to an auto zone to get it replaced. Lifetime warranty I have on this one, so this is the one I got from want from auto zone. So hey you guys, I'm on my way to uh, to get a brand new starter replaced. So at auto zone. 
So I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, you hear that all the zone, you guys. That's right there. So. I'm gonna go inside right now and uh, go to this place. Let them check on the system. All right, you guys. This brand new one just got out straight from AutoZone. Looking fresh. It's still a lifetime warranty in the system. Hey, I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna tell you guys, give you an idea. Um, with no question asked on the warranties, a lot of, you know, they say under warranty, but when you go without receipt, most of the time they check in the system, there was not in the system for some reason. So always keep your receipt, you know, stored somewhere at your house, in a compartment, uh, glove compartment inside a car, wherever, you know, I put in there. And yeah. Yeah, I just, so I just call them. Um, I just got out from AutoZone and I just called the number that they have right there on the starter. I asked a question about why, you know, why my fusible link on a G35, Street G35 is burning. And as you notice, the old one right here, the coil on the starter was burned. It looked burned out. So this is the new one. And I called him, what's the problem that, you know, I know it's uh, high resistance. And that it's possibility that, and I asked them possibility it could be from the starter that, you know, oil was, it got into the starter, you know, and it's causing a high resistance and it's the internally is bond the, the coil. And that's why it caused the vehicle high voltage and it burned everything. Obviously, a fuse bowling out to the battery from the alternator. So, yeah, hopefully replace this new one it should be fixing an issue I'll see you guys over there that's what you guys so I got a starter right and just realized I forgot to buy a, a new shoe for link for the, the one that burned out gosh now I have to go back it's close to the house away, halfway, and I have to go back and get it. It's bowling. Haha, <laughs> man, don't be like me. I'm too excited to get it. The starter replaced on the Street G35. So I could beat the hell out of that thing again. Alright, I see you guys. I see you guys when I get back home. my habitat yeah man auto zone is everything there's no hate on auto zone or rally most of the part 
might, a lot of people might think it's not the best quality, but to me, lifetime warranty on anything, most, most of everything, it's, it's worth it. And it lasts better than most shit you get online, so. Uh, see you guys in a bit. All right, you guys. Just, you guys came back from uh, AutoZone. Got our AutoZone, so the fusible lane, the brand new ones. Okay, let me try to zoom in. I'm try to zoom in for you guys to see the the actual amperage. So, you see right here. This 80 m 60, 80, and 100. And this one is 120, 20, and 120 amps. So it should be installed back into a G35, you no problem. The one I have right now, the one that burned out, is this one is way high, the amperage is 140, the one I melted. But this one 120 is plenty, plenty of power to feed the whole vehicle. So. If I'm not wrong though, I think the OEM one is 120. But the one I had it was from AutoZone also. And it was 140 the whole time. So yeah, 120 is all you need. I see you guys would ever install it, everything. Alright, uh, you guys. Here's some new starters went back in there. They replaced the old one. When you install everything back, make sure you do reverse order that you did. Remove it. Just put two bolts, those big bolts, back. And don't forget to put the, there's a bracket on the top bolt big bolt that should be a bracket go with the bolt so never don't forget to put that back the top bolt don't forget see right there ah, I can show it. yeah the, there's a bracket make sure you put the bracket before you put the bolt and put it back in there and put everything snug connect all the harness there should be two harness connect back from the no, one from the alternator and one from the vehicle. So to remove the fuse bowling that connect to, from the alternator to the battery, you, you need a flathead in my in my case I have a um, vehicle I have this um the cover on the battery side so take this plastic out you need a flathead. Fly it out, pick it out, and uh, yeah, and this should be the, it's right there, you can see, that's the fuse bone to the battery, so we have to unbolt all those things, connection I have, so. Goes, you know, it's come a different, um, different nut on the fuse bowling, so I'm not guaranteed which side, you know, what side that socket is a ratchet you need. So, in my case, 14 millimeter socket. So. Well, I had this one 14, the main one 14 millimeter socket, and this one 12 millimeter socket. That's in my particular case. Different vehicles, you know, G35, uh, 350C, can be different. Because I, my, mine is no longer a stop one, so I can't tell you which, you know, the OEM one size of those old nut that you uh, that you need. So. so I'm gonna 
loosen up and replace it right now. You this is just what you got to do. You got to uh, use a flathead screwdriver. Try to push it. This should be um, on the side. Should be a, a spot like a lock that you push on it and then you wiggle it out. Both sides. You do the same thing to take those harness out. It's it's stuck in it, so you could do it. Just be careful with it. All right, let me show you guys. Off the, this is the bad one that I just took that out right now. Let's see it focus. You see right there, right there. That's the bun. It burned out. I'm gonna give you guys some hint. If you try to diagnose it, like your fuse bowling, right? It burned out, and you have no idea what's causing it. Example: You have a lot of connection. It's like me, I have a sound system for you know power to additional battery, nitrous and uh, meth injection, all kind of that stuff. Try to uh, eliminate that for now. Put when you already replace the fuse bowling, just connect the new one. Just a simple, basic ground, you know, back connect back to it, and uh, pretty much it. Just connect that ground. I'm sorry, it's not ground. Connect your um, your positive from the alternator back to it, and turn on the key. Start the car. Every start, that means you're good to go. And then slowly, the next step. Since it's working now, the next step you want to try to connect each one of this, you know, whatever you have, slowly connect one by one. And if one of those things causing the burn, the fuseball link again, that means you have an idea what the problem came, you know, started with. So, yeah. That's just a hint for you guys to know. You don't want to connect everything all at one again and then turn on the ignition the fuse ball and burn again. You have no idea. And since in my case, I replaced the starter already, brand new one. And if that, the fuse ball is still burn again, it would be clueless what's causing it. So, all right. All right, you guys. So, I just, like I said, I connect those basic ones. And I just try to start the turn ignition on, and the fuse was not burning anymore. So that's a good sign. Now I just gotta connect all this thing, the sound system powers for the sound system, additional battery and stuff, back, and we'll see which one is the problem. And I, it, it could be none of those is the problem. It was could be just the starter itself was bad. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
dirty right now. Pretty dusty in the show, man. I need to get out here, man. My dad is running the car. you guys so he has come to conclusion street g35 back up and running like i mentioned it the issue was um i took the car for a spin last night and parked for a little bit then i took it back out drove for two minutes fuse bowling was burned out and the smoke was came out from the exhaust and sounds like the belt was squealing everything was drag sounds like drag on the street and um I look I pop I thought it was a clutch issue I thought it was some bolt it smelled bun just like the clutch but it wasn't as soon as I popped the hood and find out it was it was a fuse bowling to the battery from the alternator and I I suspect it was um the starter and I did replace the starter and now it's up back up and running Ish, and I look at the previous starter it burned out too to the coil this coil on the starter it burned out so and now as you can see it's no longer burned the fuse bowling to the battery that's that's a good sign I hope the video this video help you know everybody else. It doesn't have to be G35 Infinity, G35 or 350Z. Generally, this would you know would um, work out for any other vehicle. Make sure you check on the starter, and it is. In my case, it was the starter issue, and I had to replace a new one. It will cost you a hundred, about hundred twenty-six dollars if you return the old one in at AutoZone. You get a lifetime warranty. Yeah, I'm excited to take this beast back on the street and beat the hell out of it. That's what it built for. It's not a show car. It's a street car. A lot. Of, I, I do have a lot of haters out there too. Know, on social media they, they talk about my engine babe all kind of mess and stuff but they have no clue what they're looking at they talk about wiring this is pretty much nitrous line and fuel return line all that stuff you know complete fuel return system all those lines and people have no idea what the you know they're talking about and they just criticize but this thing is a big ass booty right here. It was sucks to hate it. Like no idea. This thing makes some power. I'm excited. Take it back out there. Don't forget to click like. If this video helped you guys, I know if I check, you know, I saw that nobody should tell you about how to play fuse for I did show you guys how to play starter and everything as much as I possibly can. You know, it's time fly. I don't have much time today, so don't forget to click like. If it does help you guys, don't forget to click like, subscribe, you know, share the video. Keep it. Bookmark it, you know, in the future you know, it would help you guys, you know, it's at some point it it might, you know, hit the fan. Should hit the fan just like me. Strain in the middle of the street in the dark last night. You know, replace a new fuse ball and you know, stay up on now. And come to like to the point that you have no idea what it could be. And have the toe, you know, cost me the toe and everything. So yeah. 
Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Stretchy, thank you, man. Peace out.